higher energies, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is it that the universe wants you to know about the person that you're romantically involved with, that you're crushing on or that you're loosely involved with, or the connection, the partnership, the relationship that you're in. So hopefully this will bring some insight, some clarity or some guidance for at least some of you, if not all of you watching. Um, it is going to be a general reading, so guys, just please keep that in the back of your mind. If you are after personal reading with messages specifically tailored to you and your situation, please feel free to connect with me. My email address will be listed just below the video here in the show more section. So once again, this reading is intended for all air signs. So that's Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. That's cross-watching as well. So let's begin. Oh, I've got a few cards that have fallen out. I'm just going to reshuffle. Okay, a lot of fire energy. A lot of fire energy, guys. Wow. Okay, so some of you, I can see that you are involved with the fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is someone who may have fire in their placement in their natal chart perhaps this is you here um, otherwise I'm also seeing that there's a lot of passion a lot of attraction here a lot of energy and enthusiasm for this person and the connection that you're involved with okay for a lot of you I'm getting a very strong message of do not rush the process allow things to unfold naturally allow things to unfold organically because fire is such in terms of the element of fire you know think the term the saying it spreads like wildfire it's very quick it's almost very instant so for a lot of you i feel like maybe you're trying to manipulate the outcome to achieve certain results maybe some of you are trying to rush the process in getting to know someone in trying to build a relationship with them so the message that I get strongly for you is do not rush the process, respect the process, trust the process. You are exactly where you need to be, even if you seem to disagree with that. And you're exactly you know, where you need to be to, to go where it is that you need to go. So everything is unfolding as it should be. Is it unfolding according to your timeline? Probably not. But it is unfolding according to the divine, to the universe, to the cosmos, to source's timeline. Okay, so you are where exact you are exactly where you need to be. You, the very circumstances that you find yourself involved with, romantically or otherwise, are exactly what they should be in order to teach you, to teach you lessons, to challenge you, to you know push you. To help you grow and evolve so everything's unfolding as it should be so you need to trust the process and you'll see that more of what you're trying to manifest and more of what you become in alignment will, with will start showing up in your life now some of you you need to make a decision there is a decision you need to make for some of you watching this is a decision between a romantic interest and something to do with where you live so for some of you maybe you're in a long distance relationship and you're not really sure whether you're ready to take that next step with them or you're just i feel like you're in two minds about it this is a big decision and i feel like the universe wants you to know that it sort of wants to remind you take your time do not again once again you know i just want to tie this back into not rush the process take your time because you need to understand not only are you committing to this choice or decision that you need to make but you're also committing to the consequences of it and even if you don't make a choice or don't make a decision well then you commit to the consequences of that as well so if you have to decide between this and that or you know be, between choosing one person or another or one relationship or another you have to understand that they will have two complete polar opposites um, outcomes results so at the end of the day go where your heart takes you go where you're you know you're being pulled and drawn towards even if the people around you who love you don't necessarily agree with what it is that you feel is best for you now, I'm seeing that with the Eight of Wands, again, I feel like I'm getting the impression that some of you want things to happen quickly, um, or some of you, it feels like you're, you're really caught up in something. It could be like a whirlwind romance, something is really happening very quickly for you. It feels exciting, exhilarating, but it also gives me the impression that someone is either trying to rush some sort of process here, 
or someone isn't necessarily slowing down to enjoy the moment here. So if that's yourself, if you find that, you know, you're romantically involved with someone and things are going great, things are going swell, maybe just stop and take time to really appreciate where you are at, the person that you're involved involved with. Just take the time to appreciate, you know, have, and I'm not saying you don't have an attitude of gratitude, but I feel like there's so many beautiful blessings coming your way. And I feel like for a lot of you, you have to know that wherever you are at this point in time in your life, it's not where you're going to be a week, a month or a year from now. So appreciate and enjoy what, you know, the stage in your life that you're at. Because trust me, you're not going to stay here forever, okay? Good or bad, it's life is, a, you know, is made up of a rhythm of ups and downs. So eventually, this place where you're at at this point in time, and even when it comes to your relationship here, it's you're not going to be here forever. So enjoy where you're at. I feel like that's really important for a lot of you. And for, with the devil card, I feel like there's a very strong attraction between you and an energy here. And I feel like the message that you get here is be careful not to give too much of yourself away to someone. Where in, in the sense where you start feeling as though you're in this relationship or in this partnership with someone and you become so co-reliant on this person that you somehow lose yourself in the process. You somehow start losing your sense of individuality and your sense of self here. So... Yes, you are, you know, you are in a relationship, a partnership or a union at the end of the day, but you are also you're an individual in yourself. So make sure you still take the time to, you know, take time out for yourself and make sure you can still be in a partnership without having to lose that sense of self or, you know, individuality or even independence here. So for some of you, be careful because you're sort of uh, crossing, not crossing the line, but it kind of getting to that stage where you know, you guys are so heavily infatuated or you guys are just so lusting for one another and there's such a strong sense of passion and attraction and infatuation and make sure that that, and although the devil this does have this addictive and consuming quality, but make sure that, you know, that doesn't necessarily consume you too much, okay? Make sure you're not constantly like drunk on this love or constantly intoxicated here because I'm seeing that for some of you, you know, it's like a, it's it can become like a bit of an addiction or an intoxication here it can become a little bit unhealthy is what i'm trying to say here okay the knight of wands again i get this really like some of you are trying to it's like you're waiting for something but you want it to happen quicker it's like some someone feels as though that this connection is not traveling along the pace that they want to travel they feel like their person is a little bit slow to make a move or is slow to respond or is just slow to progress the relationship forward or they some you know you are dealing with someone who's an emotionally scattered energy an inconsistent kind of energy like someone who sort of you know comes in and out of your life is a very fluctuating energy here so for some of you i feel like there's this really it's like a restless energy and for a lot of you it's like Maybe you're trying to rush things without that ne without necessarily trying to rush things, but it's almost like you can't wait for something to happen soon enough, or for something, to, or, you know, for someone to respond. Again, it's all about trusting the process. Everything here will happen in divine timing. You have to trust the, you know, perfection of the divine timing and circumstances alike. So, for a lot of you, I feel like you need to sort of surrender yourself to the present moment. You know, you guys are air, um, you guys are ruled by the element of air, and of course that is governed by mental energy, so you can't necessarily be too hard on yourself, because I know you're always thinking, and you're always thinking ahead, and I feel like it's good and bad, okay, the good thing is, yeah, like a lot of your decisions I think are well thought out, and I think you put a lot of thought process into things, but I feel like what's not so good is the fact that sometimes when you spend so much time thinking about something you can really get lost in your thoughts and as a result it can lead to hesitation or it can sometimes lead to missed opportunities here so it's very important for you and sometimes you start overthinking and over analyzing and you know start constructing stories that aren't necessarily real so just surrender to the moment and let it all happen and watch how once you surrender and you know, do not walk down the path of resistance, everything just starts flowing and everything just starts coming together so effortlessly and just so purely here. Now, for some of you, there's a message that I feel like is coming in from a romantic interest, the person that you're involved with or the person that you're in a relationship with. 
and I feel like this is something very it feels like it's an important message that they're carrying with them here only because I feel like that message is I don't know if a lot of you are in a place where you're ready to receive or ready to hear what it is that they have to say because I feel like in, especially in terms of the development of this connection it's going to be huge and I mean monumental it's going to be very big because for a lot of you this is what's going to accelerate the relationship and I feel like a lot of you uh, that's exactly what you're waiting on that forward momentum that growth that progression so the reason why maybe some things are not happening, you know, as quickly as you want them to be is maybe because you're not ready. And again, you might, you know, debate that and you might disagree with that. But sometimes the very things that we want in life, just because we want them, it doesn't necessarily mean we're ready for them. The universe knows. The universe knows what's good for us and what's not so good for us. So everything will manifest in divine timing. So this message that this person is coming in with, I feel like it will only be delivered when you are ready to receive it. And you yourself will know when you're ready to receive this message. I do want to apologize if you hear the neighbor's dog barking in the background. He's a cute little thing, but he's a yappy little thing. So apologies, guys. Okay, and the queen of and the king of so, king of wands in reverse again. I feel like it's just all about slowing down, trust the process, don't rush the process, respect the process. Everything is happening exactly as it should be. Maybe it's not happening as you want it to be, but it's happening exactly as it should be. Okay, guys, these are your messages. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your, um, your support by subscribing to the channel, liking or uh, sharing, commenting. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, guys, I will be sharing more tarot love messages with you. So stay tuned. Bye for now.